I wanted to show you one of the things that I do on a regular basis. My husband is a musician and he has, for the past five years, had to travel a lot. It really isn't what he preferred to do to make money, but it's what we've had to do. And um, so what this means is that sometimes he's gone for a month and sometimes up to three at a time. It works out fine because when he comes home, we're together constantly, 24-7. So we go through long periods of separation and then complete togetherness. But this little Buddha right here and this angel right here, I, I use them to represent the two of us because, you know, my husband is my Buddha and I'm his angel and they're both brass. And these are on top of his Leslie speaker for his Hammond organ. And this is what I do. When he leaves and he's traveling, I, I usually set them up where I'm watching his back. Right, the angel is watching his back. And then sometimes if I feel very lonely or like, you know, I wish that he was home, what, is that? what I do is I turn him around and I say a prayer and I put the two of us face to face, you know, um, and just kind of pray for a good reunion when we return to each other. If I'm having a hard day, um, either physically or emotionally or something like that, what I'll do is I will turn the angel around and I will face the Buddha in a display like he's got my back. And then sometimes we both have to have each other's back. So I'll put the Buddha and the angel back to back, like imagining that there's no separation between the two, that his back is my back and my back is his back. This Buddha has like a nice little arm, it's my husband. <laughs> Honestly, he's the more peaceful of the two of us. And usually whenever I, I am doing something myself, like if, you know, if I need to be watched out for or I, I need his energy to come my way, I pick the angel up. It's actually a bell. So what I do sometimes is if I, if I pray like tomorrow he leaves, so I would say a prayer, you know, and ask God to, like, part the waters for him and make everything work really, really well. What I'll do is I'll say my prayer, and I'll pick up the angel, and I'll just sound the bell. And honestly, um, my husband, especially in places like Vancouver, he ends up scanning in immigration lines that are, like, 300 people deep. And he's had people out of nowhere just walk up to him and say, you need my help? Here, let me get you through the line and walk him all the way to the front of the line, get him through immigration and point him to a taxi and then just disappear. So a lot of times when he has to travel and he's really kind of stressed by the entire situation, I put out a lot of prayer during that time that the angels standing in my place come and they help him that in front of his eyes anything that he sees that he needs is there for him that my face is always there to greet his that my back is strong enough to cover his back that his is to cover mine and so really what I do is I use these two pieces right here as an energetic forum and I rotate them based on the way that I feel and I infuse them really with the love that we have for each other, the dreams that we're trying to fulfill, and it works. And more than it, more than it being true that it works, because I don't really actually think things work that way per se. It's it's me putting faith into my relationship and into the reality, whether we're together or whether we're apart. So my husband travels up tomorrow. He's going to be gone for a month. So pray that he has safe travels, that the waters up in Alaska are calm, and that when he returns, 
you know, we have a wonderful three weeks together. So, that's just something that you can do if you're in a relationship or even you just want to use uh, little tchotchkes to represent people and move them around and shift them around to convey your affections for your partner or just to God. So, this is the angel and the Buddha and it's me and my husband. I love you.